Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your miners have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv and welcome back to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today, ah, today I got an itchy mustache. Today, we are going to be reviewing a tank. And this is a Yog Panther command version by uh, DML, well, Dragon, you know, whatever you want to call them. But um, this particular one is a command version that... Uh, I hadn't seen before, and so I was really interested when I picked this up. Let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? So here's uh, here's this side of the box, and of course the cover. And obviously, this is a late uh, this is a late Panther. Uh, Yog Panther, which is great because that's what I like to build. So first off, you've got the uh, antenna. <laughs> the crow's foot antenna that um, I've gotten with my other Command Panthers. And it's not great. Fortunately, I've got a photo etched, uh, a couple of photo etched ones I picked up. So uh, that's probably what I will use when I build this. Other than that, it's kind of a typical late um, Yog Panther, it looks like. Really hate plastic like this. Just uh, these newer companies have finally figured out that you can put a like a resealable bag type of thing instead of this crap exactly what it is crap okay so I digress here's the hull and you can see this has already got the torsion uh, bars in it which is okay um, a little disappointing because I'm used to building this must be a real old dragon kick so I'm used to building uh, building them where you put these in so anyway it's okay I'm not gonna play with it I mean it's gonna sit flat anyway so what the heck Kind of different is all, and you have two of these screws, which are your gun halves, uh, hatches, um, rack for your uh, spare uh, spare tracks, and some other assorted parts. So there's two of those, and the road wheels. One nice thing about this kit is it should build pretty quickly because um, there's not a ton of parts. This thing, I tell you, if you spend more than 20 bucks getting it off of uh, out of someone's collection, you're spending too much. Uh, there's a couple of these here with just the road wheels in, and yeah, they're okay. Built plenty of built plenty of these these uh, dragon road wheels This one also comes with the and I'm not going to take them out but the panther um, Sorry the individual track links the plastic ones. I actually like these um, And I don't mind building them. Yeah, they take a little bit of cleanup, but I'm, I'm okay with it and then uh, in this is also where your flom fignictors are which is for your late G. I built plenty of those. And here's the upper hull. With kind of sort of a sprue on there, that's just funny. Uh, your location places for your uh, Pioneer tools and whatnot. Um, this isn't too bad. I mean, the engravings here for the, um, for the 
armor plates, not too bad. You know, typical uh, DML or, well, older DML or Dragon um, kit, and I don't mind them. I really don't. I've had a few, and I can turn them into something decent. Here's our decals. And here is the mantlet and the uh, back end of the hull. Looks like we got Pioneer tools, fenders. back hatch, the wood block, the uh, heater for the uh, uh, for the crew compartment, and the Pioneer tools aren't too bad. You know, again, very rudimentary, but they're but they they work. They're just fine. And here is sprue number A. And that has uh, your cleaning rod, container, um, track racks, again, pioneer tools and stuff, and you know some of the other um, drive, uh, drive sprockets. And last but not least, the instructions. It shows you which parts you don't use. Which, like any typical Dragon kit, you've got a few extra parts, and yay for me. Painting call-outs, uh, wheel assembly, back-end assembly, uh, rear deck, command antenna, putting your hatches on, putting your Pioneer tools on, your main gun in. So, it looks like 14 steps. Sorry about that, before you get to the one where you paint it. And again, you know, late uh, late war, so um, I'll pick a nice late war camouflage to put on this, and it'll be a great uh, addition to my collection. Again, pretty simple and straightforward build. Doesn't look like it's going to be, well, again, I built this, not this particular one, but uh, these dragon um, yog, Panthers before and they build up just fine so the only difference is this one has that little command antenna in it so one extra part all right well thanks for joining us today folks um, again if you're into uh, you know this kind of thing and want a nice uh, fairly quick decent build um, this is definitely one and cheap Again, if you spend more than 20 bucks for it, uh, you're probably spending too much. But you should be able to get this out of someone's collection or um, online or something like that uh, for, you know, pretty inexpensive. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next week on The Stash. <laughs>